Arrachado, the Spanish word for gusty. Woo! And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. Today I just ate my last marraqueta ever in my entire life, because I might die today. I'm at a Hotel Puclaro, which is known for kite surfing and windsurfing. So today I'm going to be drug around by a kite, and um, hopefully I don't flop around too much. So here's to death. Let's go. So I just asked Diego, so um, am I going to die today? And he said, probably. Well, so I said, um, but well, it the will last be fun for everybody. Not for me, but I said the last thing that I wanted to do on this life and this earth is uh, for you to paddle me around this beautiful lake before I die in it. Wish so, granted. Wish granted. I don't even have a paddle. Like you don't understand all the things that Diego has done for me this week in order for these videos to happen. Literally, he's paddling me around in order for me to do these sweet shots and fly the drone and all this crazy stuff. So in the comment section, make sure that you give him a bunch of love for, you know, ending my life, but also for uh, doing all the dirty work that you don't necessarily see on the video. We'll all have fun. Yeah, until somebody dies, this guy. So, we're with uh, Chini here. He's going to kill me today. No? Uh, <laughs> I try not to. Try not to, which isn't very promising. Uh, but we're starting the instruction here with a uh, guy. Why do you have a Phillies t-shirt on? Because I do like baseball and I don't know. That's I went to the United States to watch a, a baseball game. And you're a Phillies fan? Yes, actually. Uh, that's I cool. That's cool. <laughs> I am. So, we're going to go over there. He's going to give me a kite. I don't know why already, but he's going to explain some things before that. And uh, anything else that I should know? I oh, know. That's that's all. Okay, don't die, basically. <laughs> okay, so we've passed stage number one, which is playing with this smaller kite, which I still felt kind of uh, scared about. But now we're moving on to uh, putting on a what? A 12 meters kite. A 12 meter kite. <laughs> and a wetsuit. And I have a helmet on, so you know it's dangerous. <laughs> but it's fun. But it's fun. It is fun. This is awesome. This is so cool. So, so cool. Just finished from the water and uh, headed up there where there's a little less wind so we can talk. Let's go. Okay, so my first time ever kite surfing. I was personally scared I was going to die, but luckily there are different <laughs> steps that you take in order to get good at kite surfing. So I was out there for how about like three Maybe three hours. hours, yeah. Okay, so what's my next step then after this? Then you have to practice a little bit more body dragging both hands and body dragging upwind with one hand and then maybe in four hours you can go on the board okay but that's that's so something I, else <laughs> i was scared that he was just going to throw me on a board i was no, going to go we, out we there we never do that <laughs> i would literally die but luckily i was able to go out there i was able to get uh drug around but with guidance which was awesome yeah I, I recommend that always do that like always have an instructor or somebody that teach you the proper way because if you try this by yourself you can get injured so injured, yeah so do you have a link or anything that I could put below the video if people are coming here? Yes, of course, I'll give you. Uh, okay, all um, right, so I'll put the link right below yeah. uh, this video. And also, um, what's the best time to come? Uh, in the summer season, it is in January and February. Okay. That's the best, best um But we best still had some good here. gusts. The wind was still pretty good. Yeah, it is good because, because we have like eight month season. This is a really long season yeah. for, for kite surfing. 
but now we are about to end our season so the wind is kind of gusty and not that we don't have that hours of wind that we have we need okay but we but also, September October that's when it yeah starts that, this starts again yeah okay awesome thank you so okay, much okay thank you yeah you're awesome okay <laughs> thank you So Diego did not kill me, which is a good thing, but now he has to pay the consequence. So I asked him to bring me to the best place here in, uh, in Vicuña. Where'd you bring me? So we came to Fuentelquina. This is actually one of the best places for food and amazing for drinks. Uh, the guys here, they make everything with the local pisco, everything from local ingredients, and they're killing it. Even their competition says this is one of the best places. So totally worth seeing. So could you explain the drink then that we got? Because of course it has a little bit of alcohol in it. This is, it's a huesillazo, and the huesillazo is made with pisco, of course, but it's also made with um, um, some sort of uh, concoction made with huesillos. So the huesillos, which are dried peaches, they're boiled with uh, orange juice as well, and it caramelizes a little bit, and that is put into the drink and it's also made with lemon and it's incredible and I really can't wait for you to try one I mean to try the first one There's the first one, I love it alright let's try it cheers cheers man that is delicious that's really good I know that's really good it tastes kind of like a mote con huesillo, but um, like on steroids because it has <laughs> alcohol in it, but also because it tastes really, really good. Diego, what are you doing to me? My worst. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six different so drinks. The thing right is there. that all of this is different. Uh, this is a Pisconi, this is a Poetisa, this is a Don Alejandro. Yes. Don Alejandro, I got that right. And uh, some julep over here. So all of these are amazing. And you totally need to try them. Every single one of them. Begin there. Okay. Oh, see, I told you, I told you. Don I'm, I'm, I'm Alejandro. I'm good. I just love the color in all these drinks. I think it's so cool. And it tastes delicious, of course. But before I get to all of these different drinks, I thought that I would end this video right here because I think it's gonna get just, um, I think it's just, I think it's going to get a little interesting, a little crazy. But uh, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All of those links are right below. And I hope that you enjoyed me flopping around on a, a board. I didn't even get to the board yet, but flopping around on a lake and doing a bunch of really, really amazing things. A ton of thanks to so many people involved. And I'm going to leave all of their links right below. If you're ever coming here to Vicuña, check them all out. If you're interested, I would highly suggest where we're at right now. Where are we at, Diego? Puente El Quine. Do remember that one. I just cannot pronounce it like you. But we'll see you guys next time. And uh, for now, enjoy life and chop this guy.